Hey everyone, I'm Shakti. And today I've got Lazara and Emma with me. Lazara, the last time I saw you was on a Who Cares Stare. I was on that show as well. That was almost 10 years ago. I was like this little. I was so small. What's been happening in your life since then? What are you into now? So I'm into more cooking, fashion. And you said you're doing sports a lot yes, more now, right? Yes, I do. What are you I doing with that? swim twice a week. Yeah. I go to the gym twice a week. Oh my so gosh. try and keep fit if I can. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. I've got this fortune teller in front of me. I don't know if you guys can remember this from primary school. Who'd like to go first? Blue. B L U E. Oh my. Can you believe I did that again? That's amazing. It's okay, don't worry. I'm more embarrassed. <laughs> embarrassing is fine. This might be an interesting question for you. Um, has your disability changed over time? Oh, yes. It so has. Like, so much and it like it still is mm -hmm. one of my disabilities is cerebral palsy mm -hmm. you know it's a huge spectrum of disability and i think yeah. there's a lot of assumptions made about that so when i was born i had a grade four brain hemorrhage which yeah. led to hydrocephalus and then i had two brain surgeries and then i was actually pretty normal actually <laughs> normal <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> i actually hate that word i can't believe i just said it <laughs> um but there wasn't really anything yeah. noticeably difference in terms of disability yeah, yeah. about me yeah. um, until I was about seven when I started having seizures. So I've been like in pain for the last six years uh, as well as having the, the cerebral palsy and I've actually only used a wheelchair for three years. Yeah. People just assume that sometimes um, that oh yeah this is just how it is for you and you you know you got you got this but I'm just like I don't got this. It's different to how it was yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's like it's like a dynamic thing that's always kind of like shifting, yeah. shifting around. How about you, Lazard? Do you think that your disability has changed over time, or like the way people see you has changed since you were a kid? Um, when I act like a normal. Uh, hmm. Yeah, right. It's hard. I, I, it's weird. I say the word as well, right? It's mm -hmm. weird to say normal. Yeah, I don't really feel like I've got Down syndrome, but yeah. You feel like everyone else, right? Like, yeah. yeah, it's only the way like other people see you, not how you see yourself. Yeah. That's really important because I think that's something that we all share, right? Like we all see ourselves as like, just like people who are doing life and doing yeah. the things that they like. Even at school, like I get, I talk to normal to people at school and I don't get picked on or anything. You don't get no. picked on. Yeah, no. yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for the green because I'm wearing some green. Okay, all right, all right. G R E E N. Then you go choose a number. Number one. Cause... Okay, one. If you could give advice to your younger self, what would it be? I mean, it's so crazy because growing up, um, my health issues and disabilities actually changed quite a lot. Looking back over the time when I was at school, for example, uh -huh. I would just say be who you are and let people get to know who you are um, yeah. because I just feel like I was too quiet and there was a whole me in there yeah. that never came out never expressed themselves yeah. and never let people even know what their needs were and I think yeah. that that could have been really useful for me and I'm sure a lot of other people as well let's go again I'll do you your one alright orange O R A N G E all right, choose a number. Two. Two? What are your dreams, Emma? What would you like to do in the future? I keep changing my mind on this and I like think about it every day. Um, so currently with my Bachelor of Arts, um, I've got quite a passion for public health and how uh -huh. housing, health, education, you, you know, it all affects yeah. your well-being. Um, so I quite would I would quite like to go into um, doing a postgraduate in development studies, yeah. and then possibly public policy. My future ambitions are to really go outside of my comfort zone, yeah. and also go outside of what other people, as in go outside of 
what really might be possible for me and as in make life as difficult as possible yeah. so that we can make as much difference I like as possible. How, um, I like how you said that you don't expect to go into something disability related, but there's something in your head that's kind of like, I want to help though. That's awesome. Liz Zara. I see you over there. So my dream is to definitely have own or use a cafe in the cooking industry. Um, Mum likes to live near the beach and I want to do the same thing. But living underneath them. Yeah. I don't like being alone. That's fair. Even though I'm 18 and I should, but... You should do what's best for you. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have, I'm really, like, as soon as you say cafe, I, like, had this big question. I'm like, what is the number one food that you would want to, like, eat to have in your cafe? Probably savoury, even though I'm not a sweet tooth. Uh Uh-huh. Even my sister's the opposite. Same Not really the opposite, but she's sweet and I'm savoury. Same girl. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. What kind of things are you doing now that could like help you get there? So I work in the canteen at school. So I help cook up pasta, make pizza dough and things oh, like that's that. Actually, I and I even... and I enjoy it. Yeah. So I do that every not every hour, but I do an hour session in the yeah. canteen. Everyone has different abilities and the way that I learn is going to be different from the way that you guys learn. Is there a way that so works for you? I'm visual, so I have to look at it. Yeah. So if I'm making something, like a coffee for instance, I have to have, I have to look at it before I actually try and attempt it. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. It, like, because I, I came home with an assignment, which was just writing, and I was like reading it, and I was like, I don't get it. Yeah. Because yeah, I need to yeah. have a look at it. So I got photos from the internet, and then I kind of know. How that's it really works. interesting, yeah. yeah. How about you, Emma? What's yeah? How do you interpret? Yeah, that's a great question because when I um when I started high school, um I suddenly fell behind, um and so at the end of my first year of high school, I got diagnosed with a specified learning disability. Wow. Um, but that actually was again a really positive thing because um I got some extra time to do my exams and things. You see it as like a positive experience. Is that because like? you got the extra support that could help you learn in a way that was better for you? Yeah, totally. I mean, why should we see anything as negative when we find a solution for it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, Do you know, if you've, if you've got needs, you've got needs. Yeah. Do you let that have a negative impact on you if you've got support around it, you? you yeah. Know? And I think that's where it comes down to having a, a web of support. You know, it's yeah. not, not just your family or just your teachers. It's, it's a team effort around a person and then that helps you in turn to help others you know Mm. yeah it's feeling confident that you've got the right support which is something i've learned a lot about and has enabled me to help help out others when they've needed it i love that what is possible in our lives is always changing and it might not be apparent but the thing is you got to look at the small things and look at the small things that are possible and then one day you'll see the big things that are possible and it's just holding out for those big things that I think makes it all worth it. I've learned a lot today from both of you. It's been amazing. So thank you so much for coming. Um, Till next time. Thanks for having us.